Morning, peeps. Um, how's everyone doing? Hopefully everyone is um, is doing very, very well. All right, a couple of things before we kick off today's show. First things first, the new sign. Did you notice it? Be honest, did you notice it? Um, I'm thinking about putting it right here. What do you think? I feel like it's too far away. I feel like you don't see the with add a bit at the bottom. I feel like I might put it right here. What do you guys think? But I do absolutely love it. Um, I feel bad my old sign is there. But I do like this one. I feel like it's um, it's in keeping with my old English theme I've got going on. Do you even know I've got that theme going on with the chair? Do you guys even know that? And that cupboard thing? No? Full not. All right, yeah, but it is um, very, very nice. Thank you so much to Dej, who is a subscriber, who sent it to me. Um, I got it yesterday and I absolutely love it. I do love it. I do feel sorry for the old sign. Can't lie to you. But I like this one. I like this one. Um, this came as well yesterday. Um, my boxing talk with Ade mug. Um, it's too small, isn't it? Can't even see it. It's too small. So I'm going to have to change that. So don't, if anyone wanted to spend their hard earned money on a cup, don't right now because that's too small. We're going to have to change that. A couple more final bits. My hoodie and t-shirt came as well. Um, mm, you know what it is? The hoodie quality is very, very good. I can't lie to you. The quality is superb. Um, but this colour is just... No, you know, the colour's nice as well. Like for me, I like the colour. It's just that you can't see the logos with the colour. So again, if you were going to spend some of your money, don't buy this colour. I would go a bit lighter. Um, personally, that's what I would do. But I don't mind this. But um, you can barely see the logos. I'm, I'm guessing you guys can't even see them here right now. I got a t-shirt, same colour, same issue, obviously. So, um, yeah. And Addy and Friends episode four, or is it five, is tomorrow. We have our first American guest. I am very, very excited. We are filming with Oliver, Adam, and I believe Mo the Bass tomorrow. So another hour of Addy and Friends. I really do enjoy doing those just to hear from other people, uh, fans of the sport. Again, it's um, it's a small community, the boxing community. So I think it's good to hear from everyone. All right, enough of that. Let's find out what's going on in the world of boxing. We've not done a video for a couple of days, so there should be some new gossip for us to gossip about. All right, uh, Joe Calzaghi. I would have beaten Andre Ward in close tactical fight. If I'm honest with you, if it's a tactical fight, just using Joe Calzaghi's words here, I don't think he's going to beat Andre Ward in a tactical fight, right? Um, I think Ward is... Um, yeah, it's just I think he's just too clued up. That's what I think. But you don't you never know, right? I mean, Kovalev put it on Ward the first time round, and I think Kovalev won that fight. So I think Kalzagi would have to do it that way, if I'm honest with you. Just put it on him through work rate. Sheer like we're talking, I don't know how many punches around, but you know, Kalzagi, Kalzagi, Jeff Lacey, Kalzagi. Just put it on him. Um if it's a tactical standoff kind of chess match, then Andre Ward's winning. Uh this is just barbershop conversation, right? Sometimes I hate when uh, boxers say this because it's a fight that can't happen, but it is barbershop conversation. I do feel like if you were to ask 100 people, it will be split right down the middle, 50-50. Um, it's, it's a great fight, isn't it? At either weight, by the way. I mean, I would like to have seen it at super middle. You know, both of them unbeaten at super middle, both of them obviously unbeaten at light heavy. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I've been asked this question so many times and I, I struggle struggle to pick a winner um and it's just because both of them are unbeaten um but both did have razor razor thin wins i mean some people still feel like bernard hopkins uh beat joe calzaghi and a lot of people think um sergey kovalev beat andre ward so it's not like they're both unbeatable put it that way so it would have been a great fight but again just barbershop barbershop conversation um who would you guys have gone for don't be patriotic here. And if you're British, say Froch. Like, I mean, sorry, say Calzaghi. Be honest. Who, who do you think would have won that fight? It's a tough one. Very tough one. What's this? Inside PBC Boxing cancelled. Impacted 
by Fox Sports programme Shake-Up. Um, if you don't know what Inside PBC is, it's that boxing show hosted by Kate Abdo. Um, stunning, isn't she? Um, Kate Abdo, I think Sean Port was on it quite a bit with Abner Mars. I don't know, they co-host. Um, it was all right, wasn't it? It was, it was never as good as um, ringside over here, was it? Let's be honest. That Johnny Nelson and Adam Smith show, why they canned that. I think there's a documentary or something about why they canned that. That was fantastic. Like, wow. How good was that? Don't know why they canned that, man. They need to bring that back. Um, but yeah, Inside PBC Boxing has been cancelled. It's not good, you know, when boxing... Like, we don't have many boxing shows. Let's be very honest. I mean, for our boxing fix, we go to YouTubers, right? We go to people like myself sometimes, I hope. Uh, we go to um, the IFL TVs of the world, boxing. So we get our fix from YouTubers. We don't actually have boxing shows. Uh, Max Kellerman's got his show, but how often is that on? I don't know. But over here, it's... What boxing shows do we have over here? BT Sports kind of do some stuff sometimes with Trish Dixon, who I think is very, very good. Um, but yeah, it's more just YouTube stuff, isn't it? Just YouTubers, which is a shame. Um, and now they've cancelled another one, which is a shame. Um, uh, Eddie Hearn says here, Joshua Pulev um, could see possibility of crowd at that event. Um, yeah, he's going to hang on for that one. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'm kind of tired of talking about all that stuff right now, if I'm honest with you. Um, what's this? Anything else? This is interesting. Well, it's not interesting, but this guy, Manuel Char inks with EC Boxing. Um, I want Andy Ruiz, then Tyson Fury. Manuel Char, this Manuel Char thing is so interesting. Let me have a quick look again. As a lot, I'm guessing this guy has not fought for three years or something like that. Let's have a look. But he's still, I think, ranked number one. I'm going to get this wrong, but I think, is it a WBA or something? Number one or number two? Him and Fraser Quendo or something are close. So, yeah, he hasn't fought since he beat Ustinov in 2017, 25th of November. Two. So we're talking nearly three years. What is going on? Like, was it a drug ban? And I'm not just, I'm just chucking things out there. They stick, they stick. Was it a drug ban, like a big one, and we didn't know about it or something, but then he would have been removed from the rankings. I have no idea. This manual char thing is just a bit weird, if I'm honest with you. Don't get it. I don't, I don't even get why he's relevant. I don't get why some, some people even mention his name. Maybe they mention his name just because he is so high up in the rankings. So, you know, by beating him... Oh, police car going by. Sorry. I say police car, might not be, might be ambulance, might be fire brigade. I just, they all sound the same to me. Um, so I guess by beating him, you maybe take his spot. Is that why people call him out? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even think he's that good a boxer, if I'm honest with you. I was watching, um, when I get bored, I just watch so much boxing crap. I was watching Derek Chisora, sorry, David Hay versus Derek Chisora uh, many, many moons ago at Upton Park. Uh, I was watching a press conference yesterday a post-fight press conference, which they did together, uh, by the way, Chisora and Hay, which I thought was nice. Um, that doesn't really happen that much. Um, and Manuel Char came out there offering to fight David Hay. Like, he was trying to be relevant that long ago, and he's still, like, trying to be relevant, and I don't know why. I, I, I Honestly, I don't know who he's beaten to get that ranking as well. I have no idea who he's beaten. Like, his last two wins were Sefa Safiri, that's the guy that Tyson Fury beat, by the way. And uh, Ustinov. How has he got there in the rankings? Don't know. Answers on a postcode, if anyone knows, please. Something dodgy going on there. Um, Eddie Hearn, Joshua's knee injury won't affect a rescheduling Pulev fight. Um, okay. I'm sure it will. Let's be honest, it will. I mean, it was in a brace. I mean, I know people say it's precautionary, but he was in a knee brace. Uh, precautionary is a bandage. <laughs> you know what I mean? He was in a knee brace. Uh, let's not pretend there isn't something um, going on with that knee. There, there is. Um, you don't... I mean, obviously, you, you, know, you want to take as much weight off something as possible, right? But it's not like it's just a little knock. 
You don't fucking have a knock and put a knee brace on and wear crutches. Sorry, and use crutches. I mean, it's a bit more than what people were saying. I mean, I know they won't tell us, but it's a bit more than that. Um, it is. So we'll see what happens. Um, but I guess maybe Eddie Hearn's right in the sense that if they're looking at Joshua in November, December, and we are now in June and we saw that knee brace in May, then, yeah, I'm sure he's got um, he's got a lot of time to recover. Um, what's this? Josh Warrington. I was thinking 2020 was going to be a massive year. Um, so was I, Josh. So was I. Um, things happen, right? I hope that this move to Eddie um, bears fruit. I, I really do. Um, I hope it isn't just a Kid Galahad fight. Because there's so many fighters in and around Josh's weight class, which are exciting fights. But Eddie's going to have to dig deep in his pocket um, to make these fights happen. To make them happen. Mm. I, I do wonder. I do wonder what's going to happen. Eddie didn't think he was something before and he went to Frank and became something. Eddie's got him back. Is Eddie thinking that he could make the Shakur Stevenson fight? Um, Frank couldn't make it financially. He sent an offer to Josh. I'm mean, sorry, he sent an offer to Shakur Stevenson. Um, I think Andre Ward and Shakur were on Sky Sports saying that that offer wasn't good enough for an away fighter. So in order for Eddie to maybe make that fight, does he have to chuck it on pay-per-view? I'm not, look, I'm not championing, champ, is that the right word it is? Yeah, I'm not championing in pay-per-view. I'm just sort of thinking, in order for Josh Warrington to fight a Gary Russell Jr., and we're talking over here, Gary Russell Jr. or a Shakur Stevenson, I can't remember who the other champion was, is, sorry, but those are the two big ones, right? You have to pay them big bucks to travel. You have to pay them big bucks to travel. Uh, we know we've got the Ellen Road crowd, so gate receipts are going to be good. Um, I'm talking about 2021 here now, so forget 2020. Um, but is that going to still be enough to pay Shakur Stevenson and Gary Russell Jr.? It, is it a pay-per-view fight, people? Just asking. Just asking. Don't shoot me down. Just asking. Is Shakur Stevenson, Josh Warrington... Um, a unification fight, is that a pay-per-view fight over here? I personally do not think it is. I don't think it is. It's almost in the middle, right? It's it's a big, big Saturday night fight. Let's be honest. It's not a pay-per-view fight. It's almost like there needs to be a, in the middle. Maybe there needs to be, like, maybe that there isn't this fixed 1995 or 2495 pay-per-view model. Maybe they have to kind of just price pay-per-view depending upon the fight. So maybe Josh Warrington, Shakur Stevenson is a pay-per-view fight, but it's a 9.95 pay-per-view fight. I don't know. Just, just thinking outside the box. Okay, uh, what else we got here? WBC president stands firm on support for Fury Wilder Free and Dillian White getting his shot. Um, okay, we shall see, right? Um, a lot's been said about this subject matter. Um, I guess this is the man that knows, right? I mean, it's all well and good listening to, I don't know, uh, promoters and managers and fighters talk. This is the guy that knows. Do we trust Mr. Suleiman? I don't know. Um, Fury Wilder 3 will happen regardless um, of when it happens. It will happen. I'm thinking the earliest December, November, December. The, you know, we are only in June. A lot can happen. If there isn't this second wave and they have to shut down things again, a lot can happen. Um, I did read something the other day, though, that Florida reported 4,000 new cases of COVID in 24 hours. So I don't know. We'll see. But um, I do believe, believe sorry, that uh, Wilder Fury 3 or Fury Wilder 3 will happen December. So I, I do believe Dylan White will get his shot. I actually believe, I, I'm, I actually really do believe now that Dylan White will get his shot before there is a Joshua Fury fight. If there is a Joshua Fury fight. If. I think Dylan White will get his shot. And um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing Dillian White fight either Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder. I am. I really am. I'm very much intrigued by those matchups. So either Wilder or, or Fury. Let's see, right? Dylan White is, in many people's eyes, a top four heavyweight. He should be able to um, put on good fights against... Tyson Fury or 
um, Deontay Wilder. So we'll see. Let, let him get uh, past Povetkin first. That's no joke. Um, Usyk aims to become undisputed champion at heavyweight. Mm. Mm. Well, it's not far away from it, right? I mean, if your Usyk's team and your management, whatever, and you're trying to map it out, he's not super far away from it. And it's funny when you think he doesn't have a belt yet, but um, if he is going to fight Chisora, fingers crossed that happens, right? They are talking about it now. I'm, I'm starting to hear October, November. I mean, Chisora, then... He's mandatory for Joshua. And then, uh, look, if he beats Joshua, he takes all those belts, right? And then he's the guy that will fight the winner of um, Fury, Wilder, White, that mix. So um, so we'll see. We shall see what happens. Okay, Pursoon willing to replace Serrano, fight Katie Taylor in August. Um, I actually watched Pursoon fight at the Copper Box three months ago. Um, I covered it for Sky Sports. She was one of the, the professional fighters trying to get into the Olympics and she lost in the first round and she was livid. Tried to get an interview of her, vroom, right past. I didn't know what to do. I was like, should I chase after her? But she was livid. Um, so her dream of going to the Olympics is over. Um, look, she beat Katie Taylor. Fact. Right, let's let's be brutally honest. Let's not again, let's not be patriotic. Um Pursoon beat Katie Taylor. Good fight, competitive fight, but beat Katie Taylor. That's a fantastic replacement for uh, Amanda Serrano. Fantastic replacement. Um I'd love to see that fight. I don't know if Katie Taylor would right now. I mean, if you've been preparing for Serrano, who's very much Look, Serrano can dig deep, but it's more um, box and move. Pursoon literally was a phone booth fight. It was a phone booth fight. And I, just, I don't know. Sometimes you get the win and you move on. And Katie Taylor might feel like, you know what? I beat you. Ain't going there again. So um, it'll be good. It'll be good to see. Anything else to talk about, guys? I have to get um, the live stream going, don't I? just so I can do this, what I'm doing now. This will be a good idea, actually, to do this and to be able to interact with people as I'm doing it. It'll be interesting. I've got so many ideas, by the way. So many. Um, just have to sit down and figure it all out, which isn't easy by yourself. Sorry, I feel like I've moved away from talking about stuff. But it's true, it isn't easy to try and put all these ideas into play. It isn't, but um, I am going to do it because... I am very motivated to do it. All right, Tyson Fury chatting absolute nonsense here. I'm the greatest fighter heavyweight who's ever lived. There is clearly two or three different Tyson Furies. There's the one that is mean, like when he gets angry. And there's also the one that is um, the WWE superstar. This Tyson Fury talking is the WWE superstar. Let's not forget, people. This is Tyson Fury that hasn't yet defended a belt so uh let's see what he can do right before we start talking about being the greatest heavyweight who's ever lived <laughs> but you know the funny thing is there'll be some people there'll be some fury fans and I, look when i say fury fans i feel like i'm i'm getting it wrong because i'm a fury fan but obviously there's hardcore fury fans like Rrr. There's some hardcore Fury fans that actually will argue that statement and say, well, yeah, but he did do this and he did. No, stop yourself right there. Tyson Fury isn't the fucking greatest heavyweight that ever lived. I said to myself, I'm not going to swear in this video. Um, I saw, this isn't on here, but we'll end on this one. Sorry, I didn't mean to slurp that coffee. I know that's going to pee some people off. I saw... Um, that is pretty much close to being made. Terence Crawford versus Yordines Ugas. Is it Yordines or Yordine? Do you not pronounce the S? I don't know. Um, that's a great fight. That's a very good fight. Mm, that's um, that's not an easy fight for Terence Crawford. Look, I think Terence Crawford will win. Maybe a late stoppage, maybe. But that's um, that's no gimme. That's no gimme. Ugas has got a lot better. He had a couple of defeats 
Let's see if I can get his record up quickly. Um, okay, so yeah, two. Okay, yeah, two defeats in 2014. Uh, one defeat in 2012. T two of those defeats, by the way, split decisions. So who knows, right? Who knows? Um, and then obviously he had that fight against Sean Porter, where everyone was like, okay, okay. And again, people thought he won that fight. So I mean, I haven't watched his early fights. I don't. So the loss. Split decision to Johnny Garcia and Emmanuel Robles. But I'm guessing they could have gone either way as well, right? Um, so this guy's probably got one legit loss on his record. And that was to Amir Ahmed Imam. Who is that? And where is he? He was unbeaten at the time. Who is? Sorry. Okay, now he's 22 and 3. Um, uh, yeah, it's a tough fight for Crawford, you know. It's not an easy gimme, that. Not an easy fight at all. Um, again, it goes down to what fights can be made. And I, I guess the two names that we're hearing right now are Kelbrook and Ugas. Um, forget Manny Pacquiao. I know that's been sort of um, spoken about as well. That ain't going to happen. Um, Ugas. You know what it is? Crawford. I like Crawford a lot. In fact, I love Crawford. But, I mean, gives you chances. Gives you chances. He just likes to have a scrap. He just likes to... Fight fire with fire sometimes. And he doesn't need to, but he seems to want to get involved. Um, a lot of his fights, a lot of them, you know, he gets touched a bit. Um, not all of them, but I'm trying to think of the fights. He gets touched, you know, Crawford does. I mean, Uges is a good technical boxer. Um, got a bit of pop to his punches. 33 now. Mm, that's an interesting fight. Again, I'd favour Crawford points. Um, eight rounds to four. He's going to lose a few rounds here. Or a late stoppage. But um, if I'm Crawford, that's not the fight I want. Right? It's, it's almost like it's that risk-reward thing. Um, what do I get out of fighting Ugas? And there's a big risk. Like, I don't get much out of fighting Ugas. Ugas, again, look at the record. He's lost four times. Um... Hasn't beaten anyone of note, like, you know, top guy. So it's a big risk here. Um, whereas for Ugas, you're looking at it thinking, this is what I've been waiting for. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight a guy that's ranked, I don't know, number three or number four, pound for pound and unbeaten. The guy that all the other waterweights don't want to fight. I'm going to be that guy. He's going to be ready for that fight. Just hope Crawford is as well. Peace.